My beloved child, I am your God, your Redeemer. I will bless your life and that of those you cherish, the ground beneath your feet and the air you breathe. I will bless the visions in your mind and the encouraging words you speak. I bless your home, your kin, the nourishment you partake, the labor of your hands, your journeys, your paths, and all your valuable endeavors today. My hand and my blessing are upon you. My aid and my safeguard follow you. Beautiful and marvelous opportunities seek you out. Be prepared for any battle you might face. For many of the blessings I send, no struggle is required. You simply need to nurture them, act wisely and prudently as a good steward. Yet for some trials you will need to confront adversaries with the strength I provide, with the prowess and resilience of a champion, with the sacred and robust spirit I have instilled in your heart. Do not fear the battle, do not dread the malevolent. In the face of threats, stand firm without fear. I am with you, not because you are flawless, but because you have devoted yourself to me and embraced my love. You have placed me first in your life, in your thoughts. You pray, seek me, and commit yourself to me daily. Through my word and my promises, you are directed. I see in you the valor of a warrior, the determination of a combatant, the adeptness and acumen of one victorious in countless battles. You are strong, brave, persistent, and triumphant. My blessing accompanies you, and once again, you will prevail in this challenge. Now respond with, I believe, and rise to receive your blessing. Let's have a heart-to-heart, -heart, you and me. Every morning as you wake, I urge you not to let your thoughts leap from your bed into the day's distractions or worries. Start each day with gratitude, for your family, for your life, for the time you still have to make things right. I love you deeply, and my mercy has been long-standing. I haven't punished you as your missteps might warrant, nor turned you away for past disobedience. Remember, do not harm, do not deceive, do not lie or slander, do not humiliate or betray. We have much to discuss. No sin is greater than another, each carries its weight and consequences. Acts like adultery and immorality can ravage your body and life, while slander, lies, pride, and discrimination also wreak havoc, inflicting pain and fracturing families. If these words resonate with you, if you feel my Holy Spirit speaking directly to you today, then double your efforts to seek me every day, to absorb my word and live by it. My beloved child, I do not want you to share your secrets with those who are deceitful, those who profess their love only to betray your trust and speak of you to others. Instead, my child, delve into my word, learn more about me, seek my presence, and embrace the life and purpose I have chosen for you. My presence will accompany you always offering comfort. A new chapter awaits where you will find true happiness, free from the sorrow and tears of your past. When you cry next, let it be tears of joy as you witness how I am fulfilling every promise I have made to you. Tell me that you believe, strive forward, secure in my arms, protected from harm. Those who seek to hurt you will have to contend with me. I love you. You need to be patient with the unfolding of your life and remain calm. Remember I am always by your side, and I will honor your faith. Everything that occurs serves a purpose. Although you may not understand it now, when this chapter closes and you step into the blessings I have prepared, you will see the value of belief, trust, patience, and the wisdom of waiting. Many good things you have received because you were able to persevere, and many more you will receive. I know you love me for who I am and not for what I give you. You consider me your Father, your God, your Lord, your friend, your Creator. You must continue to do so. Continue believing in me and my promises, despite what you face, and give me the first place in your life, come what may. 
because you know very well that I will not allow your defeat or your shame. Choose your friends wisely and do not listen to people who want to discourage you and steal your faith. You will not live in this difficult situation forever. I will arrive at the perfect time and deliver you. I know you are discouraged that sometimes all these things hit your faith, but do not give up, persist, be firm. Very soon, I will reaffirm your steps in the direction you should go, the path that will lead you to my blessings. I know it is hard to wait. You think it is too much time, and sometimes it seems that there are many reasons to give up, but I ask you to keep believing. This situation you are going through today is the trial that is making you stronger, and no one will be able to steal the blessings that are coming. My beloved child, my gaze traverses the earth in search of more like you, yet many who once sought me have succumbed to arrogance, false piety, and tainted perfection. They judge others, believing themselves superior, and prey on innocent souls like yours to exploit your efforts and pilfer your dreams. Do not be misled by those who masquerade as bearers of light, proclaiming to speak my words and perform miracles in my name. I am not with them. I am with you always. I will stand by your side in battle, fortify your resolve, and ensure you never yield. Today you will confront those who obstruct your blessings. I desire for you to be liberated from unfair debts, manipulative influences, harmful habits, and any form of addiction. Distance yourself from what causes you pain. By doing so, you honor me. Stand firm and you demonstrate your respect for me. Surrender your life and heart entirely, and you truly worship me. Rise, for you are destined to overcome. Do not be governed by fear, for my love for you is boundless. Unexpectedly, at a moment you least foresee, your heart will surge with astonishment. Dreams you believed were lost will be revived, and those hopes you had tucked away, overshadowed by despair, will be rekindled. Your spirit will be infused with renewed faith. You may have contemplated surrender, feeling breathless amidst overwhelming strife, wishing life itself would cease. Yet here I am, reaching out to you with my love, bearing gifts of immense joy and abundant blessings. Prepare both your mind and heart, for I foretell the return of those you presumed gone from your life. As your faith has matured, now you are to aid those who arrive broken. Be ready for when the doors swing open and the locks shatter. The chains that restrained your blessings will crumble. All is achievable for those who trust in my word. With me, nothing is impossible. Answer me with fervor and truth, my cherished one. Doubt not, for I am ever with you. Do not falter now, for victory is near. I am infusing you with courage and faith, clearing your path, vanquishing your adversaries, and healing your wounds. Fear no more. I have chosen you for success, flinging wide the windows of heaven and unlocking the doors of opportunity for you. Stop selling yourself short. This isn't just advice, it's a command. Banish the doubts that cloud your understanding of your worth and the wonderful achievements you can attain with my guidance and power. Know this, you're never alone. I have demonstrated this time and again, beyond any doubt. I've equipped you with all you need for victory. Place your trust and faith in me, for I dwell within you. I've bestowed upon you wisdom, imbued you with strength, and endowed you with the intelligence needed to conquer any challenge. Even when the odds seem stacked and foes unite against you, you will not falter. I will deliver you. Believe this wholeheartedly and release your worries. Cast aside all doubt and fear and confront your challenges head on. You will not face them alone. My mighty hand will clear the path, toppling the giants that obstruct your way. You are my child, and I've vested you with the power to overcome any adversary. 
These foes will scatter before the radiant light I have placed within you, a light that dispels the darkness and guides you towards monumental victories and blessings. I have dispatched an army of angels to protect your steps, to keep you steadfast through storms and shadows. Arise and embrace the anointing I have laid upon your shoulders. No force shall prevail against you, for I am your almighty God, shielding you and fortifying you, ever present in your triumphs. Your legs will not quake with fear, nor will your faith waver. You are precious to me, and I will not let you face defeat, for your triumph is also mine. As you realize your dreams, you fulfill my divine purpose, for I have envisioned splendid and wondrous plans for you. Do not fret about your finances. Your life rests securely in my hands, and I promise prosperity. You will emerge victorious, abundantly blessed. Be still, focus on me, and let the peace of my love envelop you. Do not overlook my presence and carry on as if I am not speaking directly into your life. Listen intently. I'm imparting something crucial to you. If your heart aches, it speaks the truth. While others may be oblivious to your struggles, together we understand. And that's what matters. I have a purpose for you, for your family, and for everyone you hold dear. Each has a special place in my heart, chosen for greatness and destined for profound blessings. But it starts with you. In your heart, I ignite a light to illuminate their way, a beacon of what my power and my word can accomplish in a heart that is unashamed of me and rises against all barriers. From the dawn of time, it was destined that at this moment, my spirit would envelop you, igniting your heart with a divine fire to dissolve all sorrow and confusion. I cleanse your soul from pessimism and endow you with a dynamic, powerful faith. I grant you the strength to conquer giants and the authority to rise each day, ready to tackle life's battles. Embrace my message. Today is crafted for your joy and for dreaming of all you will accomplish. Behind every challenge, a miracle waits to unfold. So fear not. Do not lose heart or be dismayed by the trials your adversaries bring. Everything can be turned for your benefit and blessing. My plans for you are filled with promise, not for despair or loneliness, but for boundless joy and the company of good souls. You have a destiny bestowed by me. Do not diminish yourself by mimicking others or settling for leftovers. Guard against giving the enemy such openings. Never betray those who have supported and blessed you abundantly. My child, resist pride. Speak no falsehood against those who have been kind to you. I have wondrous blessings in store for you, rewards for your faithfulness. Await them with patience and faith, for they will surely be granted. And as you step into this prosperity, I want to see your reaction and understand your intentions. I assure you, there will be no lack in your house, debts will vanish, and work will flourish. My desire is to enrich your spirit and soul first, preparing you to manage your blessings wisely, preserving them so that none may take them from you. Begin each morning by entrusting your day into my hands and watch as I lay a path of peace and success before you. Yet when troubles arise, hold fast and fear not, for I am ever by your side, ready to lift you from the turmoil. Proclaim now, both aloud and in writing, I believe. Together we will emerge from the storm triumphant. Know deeply in your heart my boundless love for you. At this very moment feel my love enveloping you, transforming your sorrow into joy, lightening the load you carry, and infusing your steps with renewed vigor. Now be certain of my deep love for you, a love that will never wane or abandon you. This divine love I offer is your anchor amidst the tempests of life. 
I hear the yearnings of your heart. I know you've sought solace, answers, and affection in places where they could not be found. But today I assure you of the love I provide. My love is everlasting, unconditional, and mighty. In me you will find sanctuary during times of distress and strength amid your vulnerabilities. I do not err. Everything is part of a greater plan. You will not face defeat. Your triumph is assured. You will not encounter failure, but I ask for your unwavering trust. Embrace this message. Let it resonate within you until it becomes part of your very essence. In this world, you will face hardships, but be courageous, for I have conquered sin, fear, and timidity. You were not destined to live in spiritual poverty. You are meant to wield the power and bravery bestowed by my Holy Spirit. Your devotion and attentiveness to me are wise choices. I will enrich every moment you spend with me, transforming your hours into years of prosperity and joy. I will grant you sacred wisdom, disclose my intentions, and elevate you to a spiritual realm beyond the enemy's reach. You will triumph in all your endeavors, as long as you place me foremost in your life and trust in my word and fidelity. I am the God of life, the architect of your happiness, the healer of your wounds. I am the one who uplifts and soothes your heart, enveloping you in warmth and drenching you with my love. My love for you knows no bounds. I yearn for your success in all things, just as I wish for the flourishing of your spirit. I am committed to your well-being and urge you to have faith and trust that when you call upon me, I will respond. Declare with all your might your belief in me. I have never left you alone in your times of struggle. I have always been by your side. I have removed the sorrow from your heart and replaced it with joy. If you seek me earnestly each day, if you shut the doors of your room to meet me in solitude, if you offer your heart in profound adoration and exalted worship, if you call out to me with all your passion and intensity, trust that I will hear you and elevate you. My beloved child, you will overcome formidable challenges and scale great heights. Declare your victory, and I will affirm it. No dire news will break you. No medical diagnosis will dismay you. No threat of division within your family will steal your joy. Even when your emotions try to convince you that all is lost, that upcoming trials will crush you, that harsh words from others will break you, or that you will never recover from this plight and find happiness again. I am here with you in this very moment, telling you that I am ever watchful and deeply invested in every facet of your life. I see the challenges that loom before you, the shadows that threaten to overshadow your path. It's no accident that these trials arise just as you stand on the brink of great blessings, as you near the fulfillment of your dreams. Do not be intimidated by formidable foes. You possess a strength they cannot fathom. They aim to instill fear, yet you will stand serene, poised to unveil the strength they never anticipated. I have bestowed upon you the power to quiet the forces of darkness that seek to invade the minds of your adversaries. Remember you are never alone, never without defense. It's time to rejuvenate your thoughts and nourish your soul mind and spirit with my words and commandments. I have repeatedly urged you to be strong and courageous. The enemy tests you with his onslaughts, probing for your breaking point. Yet, no matter how daunting the obstacles before you may appear, they cannot harm you. For I am your mighty protector, the strong one, and I am by your side. You dwell in my shelter, safeguarded by my presence. I have cleansed you with my blood and filled you with my Holy Spirit. I am your God, almighty and omnipotent. And you, my child, are made in my very image and likeness. This is the joyous news that should fill your soul with elation and your lips with praise. Now tell me if you truly believe in me. 
My powerful hand is upon your heart this very moment. Accept this message, cherish it with love. Let a smile brighten your face, for your soul recognizes and feels that I, your God, your Almighty Father, am grasping your hand. Wherever you are, I am there, making you braver than ever, dispelling the fears and anxieties that sometimes paralyze you and sow timidity within you. In the heavenly realms, a supernatural battle rages for your life and for your family. That is why I am fortifying you, shaping you into a determined and resolute individual. Those around you will see the authority I have imbued in you. You will not waver when storms approach. You will not flee from adversaries, nor will you falter or turn back. When you pray, let your heart be full of belief. When you cry out, anchor yourself in trust. As you stand in my presence, overwhelmed by need, bow deeply in reverence and stretch forth your hands, ready to grasp the answers you seek. Come, speak with me. Tell me about your dreams and desires, your plans and pains, your uncertainties and frustrations. Talk to me, for I am more than just your God. I am your friend. I understand your craving for tranquility, your quest for peace. You've been battered by life's storms, endured the unexpected, and suffered the sting of rejection and malice. You're seeking solace and strength. Within my words, you will find peace. In my presence, strength will fortify your heart amid your trials. In moments of weakness, my peace will envelop you, and when you're at your lowest, fear will lose its grip on you. Hold fast to my promise once again. When your burdens overwhelm you, come to me. Never forget, I am eternally by your side. Do not let doubt steal the blessings waiting on your path. I bless you out of love, choosing freely to shower you with grace and mercy, for you are precious to me. You are cherished, dearly loved, irrevocably mine, and my love for you is steadfast and everlasting. My intentions do not waver over time. Believe in me and life-giving rivers will flow from within you. Trust in me and you will find the courage, strength and power to overcome any evil. I will never abandon you. If you believe your sins are forgiven, if you're ready to let me erase your past errors, if you accept the love of an eternal, all-powerful God, then all the living promises in my word are yours today. This day is marked for life, for victory, a day you will remember. Now stand and ready yourself for the battle ahead. You've placed your trust in me, and I will reveal the reality of my plans for you. Prepare to step into a new supernatural season. Remember and never forget, I always hear you, I am always with you. Today, as you read these words, commit to renewing your faith. Despite numerous attacks, doubts, and trials that may have weakened your fervor, return to the path of trust. Refill your mind with my powerful word. The difficult times are ending. Days of pain are nearing their close. When your blessings arrive, recall that they are sent from my love. In times of conflict, I was your attentive provider. In your wanderings through barren lands, I sustained you. I desire your faith to remain vibrant and fervent so that when prosperity comes, you do not forget me, your God, your Lord. Continue to call out to pray, for there are realities your eyes cannot yet see. A battle rages in the spiritual realms. I will bless you, though opposition is great. Your victory lies in your faith, your persistence, your consistent, perseverant prayers. Seek me during the day, pray into the night, rise early to intercede. The times are shifting in your favor, and I am searching the earth for valiant warriors like you. I am ready to perform miracles in and through you. I will use you to deliver sustenance, clothing, comfort, healing, and blessings. Each morning, I come to invigorate your spirit, to provide the breath and strength necessary, infusing you with hope as you step out from your home. Every day, 
I remind you of my love, and gradually, you've realized how precious you and your family are to me. Recently, your faithfulness has been evident, acknowledging that despite the strength I provide, your needs are still profound. The transformation I'm working in your life is ongoing. It involves your family and cannot be rushed. Sometimes I notice your children might not listen as you speak of me. They might seem disinterested. This makes me a little sad. I fondly remember their younger days, their songs of praise that filled me with immense joy. Yet, I have plans for them, and I constantly remind you of your crucial role in these plans. When you speak to them, choose words of love. Avoid judgment and anger. Remember words can cut deeply, like swords. Learn from me. I am gentle and humble at heart. Put aside any irritation or anger. Approach them with patience and love. They are your family, your very flesh and blood, and you are the vessel through which their lives were formed. Step into my presence each day and listen to my words. Even if you don't see immediate results, don't be discouraged. Continue to pray relentlessly, with unwavering faith, and the miracle you seek will manifest. Your thoughts will transform, you will seek me anew, and joy will fill your home and your hearts. I am always listening to you, thinking of you this very moment. When you close your eyes and turn to me in silence, when you whisper your prayers, I hear you. I understand your words, and your tears are precious to me, offered up before your Father's throne. Your tears are drops of love, a clear expression of your heart's deepest cries, and they are cherished here. I hold them in my hands, I keep them close to my heart. You do not cry in vain, your weeping reaches the courts of heaven. You wonder, is God really listening? Yes, I am listening. You ask, will God respond to my cries? Yes, I am responding. Your tears are the melody and the lyrics of your genuine sorrow, a sorrow that waits patiently, knowing it is heard by me, your omnipotent God, who will provide comfort. And so, in my book I write, Your tears serve as the ink, perfectly capturing your heartfelt pleas in my response. Your answers are on their way. I have written them myself. They are sealed and recorded. Soon, at the trumpet's call, the river of your tears that reached my door will flow back to you, transformed into cascading waters of peace and joy that you have long awaited. I have borne the lashes, endured the agony, carried the cross amid scorn, and conquered death itself, all for you, to rescue you from eternal despair, to impart wisdom, and to mold you into a warrior. Secure in the knowledge that your God, your Father, and your friend is the creator of all. I receive each day, filled with vigor and unwavering faith. My child, I love you deeply, and to affirm that it is indeed I who speak, you will soon witness a profound sign of my love and power. Open your home to me today. Throw wide the doors and windows of your life and allow my sacred blessing to enter, healing your soul and soothing your heart. Yesterday, I purified your abode of all flaws, infused life into each corner, voiced my power through your thoughts, and swept away the residues of your past afflictions. You stand cleansed and forgiven. Embrace this truth. Remember, I do not claim you are flawless or beyond temptation. You are my beloved child, cherished yet human. Together we will face your trials, hand in hand. Accept the challenge to seek me daily, to love me with all your heart and mind, and to surrender your life wholly to me. In doing so, I will remain ever by your side, ready to support you and lift you up, even should you stumble once more. I know you do not sin out of intent. As you battle your adversaries, they may cast you down into the mire, reveling in your fall. Yet, lift your eyes to me. I have sent you into this battle, 
and it is by my power that you are cleansed, empowered, and forgiven anew. This cycle will persist. You must persevere, regardless of the opposition. Your foes are relentless and corrupt. They lack compassion, show no remorse, and their consciences are stilled. They envy the victory I have draped over you, and will deploy every tactic to unsettle the peace you now experience. Stand firm, my child, for I am with you. As you face these trials, know that the mantle of victory I have placed upon you is your shield, and my love, your unbreakable armor. Keep walking in faith and trust in my promises. You are cherished, and you are never alone. Amen.